another week, another bit of grass to mow for this dude. Something very therapeutic about watching him do it. Though. It's quarter past three, or is it? Actually, if my wife watches this, it's ten past three. Not late. Why aren't those people at work? Is this like the freelance 15 or something? I don't know how many people are on a cooking team. The week is off to a busy start, getting lots done, doing quite a lot of final mixes on edits, which is really nice to do. It's always satisfying because Basically, that means I would have written the script probably a month ago and it's been voiced and it's been animated and now I'm doing the final bit mixing it all together, perhaps with live action or with music, sound effects and what have you. And yeah, it's like just that final piece. It's nice seeing something all the way through. So that's good. What else? Oh yeah, I'm sort of having to put in, this is embarrassing, having to put in uh, a new system I'm just just within spreadsheets just to make sure that I'm invoicing correctly because I had <laughs> an email from a client saying um I'm expecting an invoice for this video and I was thinking really I did that video a month ago I'm sure I invoiced and I checked and I hadn't they were absolutely right and if it wasn't for them being wonderful and honest I would never have got paid for that job, even though I've paid the animator and I've paid the voiceover artist, so I'd be making a loss. I don't want it to happen again, A, because what if they don't tell me and I don't get paid, but B, what if they do tell me? It just makes me look stupid. So the first time around you were doing quite a lot of band merch and record label type stuff. How did, how did you get those clients? Just, uh, so, Kat didn't want to be on uh, camera today. Just, uh, so I managed to edit the vlog last night, uh, uploading it to YouTube, and I thought I'd try out something different with the thumbnail, because I noticed that some people, when they do weekly vlogs, have like thumbnails with maybe like more than one image in it, and it gives you a taste of what might be in the video, so I thought I'd try something like that. I've just done it within Final Cut itself, so just created uh, like a, a split screen kind of effect, which I don't often use. Um, I think people like seeing faces in, not necessarily my face, but people like seeing faces. This, people are like technology, don't they? Uh, that's quite a key theme of the episode. You know, this is meant to be like a bit of action. And then I just put a little, the title thing from the video back on top. So I've taken a screen grab of that and now I've uploaded it so that the video, that as the thumbnail. So I don't know. Um, little bit stressed slash annoyed because my VA, my very first VAT return is due tomorrow. And um, now my accountants are querying a load of stuff on the free agent, which is my accounting to software uh, return. And they're right to, but yeah, I thought, you know, like the whole reason I pay for that software and the whole reason I pay a stupid amount of money each month for accountants is so stuff like this wouldn't happen and I could just get on with doing my business things. And yet it's happening. And now I'm gonna have to spend a load of time instead of working sifting through a load of stuff um, to get that all done in time. It's so annoying. 
I really hoped to be on top of this by doing it the right way and apparently not. So it's Friday, had a really nice walk to school with the kids this morning, it's nice and warm, um, which was a really nice start to, to the day. Right now, just uh, sorting out the final bits for my VAT return. Whew. And I realised that actually when I was annoyed about it yesterday, um, I mean this is what I pay my accountants for, isn't it? It's that I don't want to screw it up and they've been great. So I'm glad that uh, it's all going to be done properly. It just seems a bit... <sighs> just seems like things like that get in the way of running your business. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> I guess over time it just gets easier, as with everything. Oh, I know what I was going to say. So last week I put in place this new thing on my to-do list, like a recurring to-do on my Trello board, which is every week I'm going to invite two guests to be on the Being Freelance podcast because if I don't stay on top of it, I run out of guests. So I thought I'd make it, I'll invite two guests and then that's, what you know, if, I, if one of them says yes, brilliant. If two of them say yes, amazing. And if neither of them say yes, it doesn't matter because hopefully, you know, over the weeks it'll all balance itself out. Uh, and yeah, so far that's been really working. I'm getting way ahead because what I really want to do is get loads of episodes recorded ahead of the summer holidays so that I can keep putting them out during July and August without having to spend time doing it when I can be hanging out with the kids. So yeah, so that's working. And like one of the guys I asked yesterday is like a games developer who is like really huge in the industry, like right at the top of his game. Yeah, he said yes within like half an hour of me emailing him. About to record a podcast with Luan Wise. Actually, I've got to check how I say her name. Luan? Luan. I'll know very soon. Except that we just connected and I couldn't hear her. And you know, this always happens when I do a podcast on a Friday at two o'clock because they're the podcasts, recording session times, where I don't have time for things to not work. And it's always when they don't work. Always. And the reason I don't have time, of course, is I've got to pick the kids up. So, yeah. Wait until she dials back. Otherwise, I'm going to be interviewing you. One week into owning my red trainers and I'm battling with the social etiquette of wearing or fashion etiquette of wearing red trainers. Like, how often should one do it? I know the struggle is real. I think the main thing is, oh, they're cutting down trees, how rude. I bet David Attenborough doesn't get this. I think the thing is, VAT wise, what I've learned, before you begin, like when you very first register, find out what on earth it is that you can claim back. And if you're using accounting software, find out how their VAT system works. That's basically where I went wrong. It's quite a cool job, isn't it? So yes, I was trying to say, as with all these things, if you just find out what on earth the rules are, and then how the software or whatever it is that you're using works, then there shouldn't really be an issue. Uh, the other thing with VAT, <laughs> yeah, don't quote me on this when you get fine, is that from the date that you 
become VAT registered, you can claim back the past four years or something ridiculous of VAT on stuff like, you know, like if you bought a computer, for example. Unfortunately, I bought a computer as an individual rather than as a company, so it doesn't work for me. But I did buy this phone as a company, so I can claim the VAT back on this. And there's really annoying rules as well. You would think that if you download a piece of software, that you can claim back the VAT on that. Apparently not. And yet, if you buy the same piece of software and they send it to you in a box on a CD, then you can claim back the VAT. How insanely archaic is that? Where is the logic in that? That is a rule not made for a digital age. There's another tip. Don't presume logic will work for VAT affairs. Find out the rules, figure out the software, speak to an accountant do all of that in advance rather than two days before your first VAT return.